Happy now, all is now. It's a gift to be in the present. First, they sign it back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an alternate moon. And Horus will be transited into Santa's house in the sky. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be doing my continuation on Mercury. Okay, so the last video I did was Mercury and Aries. This is going to be Mercury and Taurus. Okay, so Taurus comes from the second house, right? Taurus comes from that second house, right? And what's that second house dealing with? That second house dealing with fixed, fixed possessions, okay? Things you value, your gifts, what you have to offer to the world, okay? Right? So, yeah, what you have to offer to the world, your gifts, right? And fixed possessions. So what do we know about Mercury? Mercury is your planet of communication, your planet of uh, planet of writing, your penmanship, and your ability to process thoughts. Okay, so off the bat, with a Mercury, we say Mercury is Mercury here. We can say is 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 it, it's okay here, as opposed to Mercury here in Aries. We'll just focus on the Taurus for right now. But, you know, with this being a Earth sign, you know, here where Mercury is ver familiar with Virgo, where it can process thoughts to its best and Gemini. Mercury and Gemini, it, it does well best in Virgo and Gemini. Here, you know, it can process thoughts to its best, Mercury and Gemini. But when Mercury is in Taurus, it's that Earth sign. So, yeah, you can say it does okay here as well. Okay, so Mercury in Taurus, off the bat, you know, like I said, Taurus is a fixed Earth sign, okay, that is being ruled by Venus, okay? So we say with Taurus, communication, right, is slow, steady, right, earthy, right, uh, communicating to make sense, okay? Communicating to make sense, okay? So you, you, you processing of the thoughts is slow and steady. Processing of the thoughts is, uh, yeah, slow and steady and, you know, digested well. Okay, so you can say uh, uh, thoughts and ideas you receive, you, you, it's, yeah, like I said, it's slow and steady and it's digested well before you communicate what you want to say. Okay, so with Mercury and Taurus, it's almost as if, yeah, your communication, you value your communication, okay? So that's why it can come off as, as slow and steady and made sense out of because you like, you know, we Mercury within Earth signs, we actually like to think, you know, like I say, properly make sense of our communication that we give and uh, receive. Okay. The information we receive and give. Okay. So, yeah, with Mercury and Taurus. You know, like I said, this is a fixed earth sign. So you're fixated on communicating about, you know, things you love and appreciate. You know, fixated on communicating about things you want to, practical things you want to manifest in your reality. Towards being that earth sign, you know, you you more thoughts, more geared in the realms of, you know, uh, this reality on how you can manifest something practical you can see and touch right how you can go about uh you say uh, uh communicating right communicating on how, how let's say you know you can let's say the way you communicate right let's say the way you communicate you know your communication style right can be let's say you you receive thoughts in the realms of how yeah you can uh manifest something that's practical right and something that you can value and something that you know yeah something that you can value right thoughts you know in, in the realms of that second house right to, to, taurus and taurus comes from the second house let's not get that mistaken Let's not get that mistaken. But with uh, this, like I say, it's more slow. Okay? 
just coming from the Aries, where the Aries is fast communication, impulsive communication, the, the, the uh, let's say, information they receive is, is spits out quick and rapid, okay? So with this, you know, it's, it's almost like, yeah, like the opposite. It's almost the opposite, you know, slow communication, right? You know, make sure it's, it's made sense out of. And let me compare, I will compare with that Virgo, as I say, right? Where Virgo is mutable earth, fixed earth, Mercury is familiar with it, where it's just like, yeah, it's adaptable with their communication. It's Virgo is actually adaptable with their communication when they're making sense. You and me, you know, I want to make sense of what you're saying, but also make sense of what I'm saying. But with Taurus, it's fixed. The modality of Taurus is fixed. So you can say with the Taurus Mercury, you're again, yeah, fixated on communicating on the, on the things you love and appreciate, right? But yeah, so we can say with the positive side, the positive side, right? With this placement with Mercury and, and Taurus is, yeah, you, when you, you can communicate, your communication style can be seen as a gift in a way, because like when you communicate on how you can go about manifesting something practical, right? You know, it's almost as if, you know, other people can pick up on that. You know, and you give other people ideas on how to manifest something they can love and appreciate because you have, you receive, you have the communication style and, you know, you receive thoughts and ideas on how to, you know, you can go about manifesting something practical because, you know, you're, you have, your Mercury has this Venus influence, okay? So when we're looking at this Venus influence, right, this is the Earth. Right, so not you're not the only sign. Your Taurus is not the only sign that uses Venus. Right? Libra uses Venus as well. So Taurus is the feminine side of Venus, aka the dark side of Venus. Libra is the light side of Venus. Right. So your communication style, right? Let's say your the Venus that you use, right? So it's how you can manifest something practical because it's earth they gotta see earth gotta see something practical libra really don't gotta see something practical they just love the communication the one-on-one -on -one relationship right so with uh with this like i say on the positive side your communication style can be seen as a gift right because when you're communicating on in the thoughts and ideas and how you receive how you can go about manifesting something practical right yeah you, people can see that and you know in this reality we live in that's based off of you know earthy this reality that you know this yang realm that is due that is more earth and air you know your 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 the thoughts and ideas you receive is suitable for this yang realm because your mercury is more earth okay so with that knowing that you know people can love value appreciate your communication style right because it suits this earthy realm we live in and also to mention uh taurus earth would fall let's say if if you were in tune you know with earth signs earth the earth sign in taurus earth would be exalted in taurus my earth sign is in Taurus, just happened to be in Taurus, okay? So, uh, the negative side of this is, yeah, you could be fixated on communication, communicating on, uh, yeah, you fixed on communicating what you love and appreciate, right? Fixated communicating what your values, right? What you, how you can manifest something you value, communicating about your values, right? And what you have to offer to the world and not seeing other people's values, right? Not seeing what other people have to offer to the world, not seeing other people's 
fixed possessions, you know, not seeing other people's gifts, okay, and how and what they have to offer to the world, okay? So because this is a fixed sign, right? So this is the thing with the fixed sign because you're fixated on communicating, okay? Okay, when we're talking about fixed, you know, it's, you know, that's the energy signature fixed, you know? So that's what you gotta watch out with, with a Mercury in Taurus, fixated communication. That's the negative side. You could be fixated on communicating, right? On what you have to offer, you know, because you do receive, you when you do receive that loving vibe or feeling of when people, you know, actually love and appreciate your communication style because it's benefiting them, right? You receive all that uh, energy from your communication style because it's suitable for this realm, right? You could get caught up into, you know, could be all in your head. Right, and not seeing other people's gifts and what they have to offer to the world with your Mercury and Taurus. Okay, so yeah, first sign up. Yes, next now.